All right. Y'all ready? For this? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to the first and last ever episode 16 of the Kind of Funny Games cast. I'm Tim Geddes. We got the coolest dudes in video games reunited for the first time, and it feels. <laughs> what was that? What was it? I straight, shook him into another dimension. He went, he went straight T Rex. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I liked that man. That's just how cool you are, Colin Moriarty. Well, some might say that. Yeah, yeah. You, you were out in Iceland. I hear it's cold there. It's fucking frigid. Absolutely frigid. Yeah, as the name suggests. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, was it really cold? Yeah, it was fucking freezing. It's hard. I thought I thought it was the green one. You think there. it was bluffing? I thought Greenland was. Greenland and Iceland are supposed to be backwards. No, I throw you off. Reykjavik, where I was, is the northernmost capital city in the world. Mm. And uh, it shows. Yeah. Mm. Every time you walk outside. (laughs) (laughs) And then Greg Miller. Hey. Who must be happy because it's the first time we've seen Colin in like. Colin's back. It's good. A week and a half. I had to eat my yogurt and shame again today, this morning. And I was like, I remember this world. Yeah. I remember this day. (laughs) We're back. (laughs) With your fucking dirty ass. Gross ass I d- fucking yogurt. I do so much for you and I don't get any credit. Unsung Hero Part 2, Greg Miller. Part 2. Unsung Hero. Tim but you can't do that. It's true. At last, we have Alfredo Diaz. Up, the Beats? Alfredo plays on Twitter. Alfredo plays on Twitch. And he's been doing really well on Twitch. Yeah. Just hit 500 subs. Yeah. We're on the Some Golden Nugget showers way less than, than I predicted. Thank you. Golden so Nugget showers. Lot of support 30, from the, thing that 30, 30,000 followers. 30, that's insane. A lot of support from the kind of funny family and community. Yeah. They're that's amazing. fantastic. So, yeah. Best Shout out to all y'all. Y'all doing God's work. Also, just so you know, I can't hear anything so because uh, I have a head cold. Well, yeah. I'm getting over one, so if yeah. I'm like really low or really loud, I mean, it's just it is what it, it is. It is what it is. <clears throat> and I like that. So is that a head cold it. song you were working on there? No, I was like head, head cold. cold. I was like, that's the thing. All right, cool. Yeah, that's you ever heard that? No. You ever had a head cold before? No. Like where you all can dress in your head and you can't hear? No. But what's the really? difference between that and just a cold? I think cold, you're super congested. That's like the defining factor. Cold, I feel like you have a sore throat, you're coughing, mm. you're sneezing, or whatever. Mm. Head cold, it's all up here. You, you feel like somebody in, like, a NyQuil commercial. Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. Good. I know all about that. Guys, a lot of things have happened in the last couple of weeks in, in this world of video games. I don't have a segue from that. I was like, like I don't have a segue today. at all. But, uh, oh, hold on. Know, Alfred, uh, I'm sorry. Kevin's know? asking me to raise my antenna. Raise your mic a little bit. Oh, that makes no sense. <laughs> mm. I thought he was asking him to masturbate. Yeah, I was yeah. like, that's not. He's like, do you want Not it? now, oh, Kevin. Oh, shit. I forgot. About, I haven't even told you about the game I got for our Let's Play tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Grin on this is face. great. You want to know just the, in the nut the, the nutshell recap here? Oh, the nutshell recap. Yeah, I it's a game. Give us the nutshell recap <laughs> where you succeed by giving cars uh, shifters hand jobs. Sounds thrilling. <laughs> You and I are going to play that one. I like that. We're going to play that one. We're going to be good. It's a Nick's computer game. good at sex games. Yeah. No, he gets all uncomfortable. He, he gets really weird about Nick it. Nick talks a good talk about being all sexual and gross. But yeah, then you give him a game with two figures you bang together to make sex. And he's, he's like, like I, don't I don't like this. I'm uncomfortable. they stuff on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> Nick. I, I, although I did watch the How Do We Do It Let's Play we did, and I laughed a lot. You know things Told are you good you when you watch shit that you do, and then you <laughs> laugh at it. That's my metric for success. Okay. Yeah. I want to then. I, then by that metric, I wasn't in it, but I don't. It, it's it's rare that I'm not in or around while you guys make a video, right? Yeah. Usually around. I wasn't at the Guitar Hero event. You boys ah. did a fantastic job. Thank I was you. very Thank very fa- big fan of your let's play. I, I I liked it too. I feel like we did a good job of. Well, first off, I'm not modest at all when it comes to anything. Second off, I think we did a good <laughs> job of like talking about all the new features yeah. and stuff in the game but it was actually informing. playing it yeah, and having and fun playing. my concern yeah. was like I, when I started I was like are you guys just going to play and horse around but you know you were actually explaining they had given you like the the bullet points beforehand here's what's new about it and you mm. told us all and showed it was us cool, what that you know, I've been we've both been at IGN long enough that we kind of know how the events work and yeah. all that yeah. stuff so it's like I know we're going to sit down get the spiel do all that stuff but it was fun being able to say like fuck the corporate politics of like having to having to just fuck go it. through all of the well, this this is new, and then this is new, and then this is new. We just literally did a Let's Play. I don't think anyone else did a Let's Play, yeah. which we can see in the views and the reaction in the video. People really liked it, and it's like the most gameplay, I think, that anyone else a, has. It was oh, a nice. great blend. It was like the scene from Ghost, but with a guitar. That's really what it really was. Hot. You know? So the guitar is taking the place of, like, the clay pot? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I didn't Me know if Alfredo it was that was... or if it was taking the place of, of course, the bottle cap. When you're trying to move the bottle cap or the penny or whatever mm-hmm. it was. No, no. And then everybody goes, get off my train. Because he's a ghost on the no, train. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course. But, uh, but me and Alfredo had a lot of fun playing, and I think it comes across. And yeah. the one thing about the the game that I think is is really unfair is that it it's really easy to judge just by watching it. Yeah. Playing it is a totally different experience. And like mm. that's not some bullshit that I'm just saying. Now, 
you are awesome because I didn't have a good segue, but then you just teed me up for the best segue ever. Because guess what, guys? Mm. First topic, music game, music games, oh. 2015. Mm. There's so many of them. How do we feel about There's this? There's two. Three, because I count Amplitude. Yeah, Amplitude's a, I'm not not letting counts. that count, although it shouldn't. Thank but you, you know for what? at least being there. Here's what I'll say about the music game. I didn't think they'd be back this quick. Mm. We had had discussions about this when we thought they were going to come back. When the rock band came back, we talked about it on Colin and Greg Live and all these things. And it was just like, has enough time passed? And I was like, I don't think so. And then when like it was like rock bands out and then guess what? There's going to be a guitar hero as well. That's when I was like, hey, we're right back to square one. Everything's mm. fucked. It's going to explode. Everything's but fine. after seeing Guitar Hero Live, I was like, oh. If Guitar Hero Live is different and Rock Band is the same, then finally there's parody. There's a reason to own both again. There's a reason for them both to be back at the same time. That's my that's my one thing. I was concerned about them flooding the market too soon. But based on what I saw of Guitar Hero, if Rock Band is just Rock Band, then it's like, oh, okay, maybe maybe this doesn't all blow up and kill everybody. Yeah. Now, my thing, I'm a huge music game fan. Like, all three of those games I'm super excited for. And I'm going to put a lot of time into, specifically compared to how much time I put into most video games. Like, I actually really invest in music games. I don't think we need this much. Well, sure. Like, that's it's. It worries me that there needs to be all of this, and it's like, I really wish that only one was coming back. Of course. Like, but and you... it, the thing is, like, I don't know which one. Like, I, we haven't really seen too much Rock Band Four yet, Nothing so it's yet. like, but we can't really judge. But already, both of them have things that I really like about them, and both of them things that I'm like, oh, man, I wish you just changed this a little bit, or I wish that wasn't how it was. In my perfect world. It would be one of them, and it would just be a platform. It wouldn't be called Rock Band 4. It would just be called Rock Band. And forevermore, it's just adding on top of it. And right. that's it. How do you add on forever. top of it again? Huh? Show me how you add on top of it. You just you do this, <laughs> and then you just push. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very good. It's good. But see, I think something interesting that came across in your Let's Play when you were talking about it, right, is that Rock Band, and then and this is last-gen Rock Band, right, and then the final Guitar Hero, Guitar Hero. you were like, they were party games. They mm -hmm. had gone from arcade experiences to party games, and that was fine. Mainly Guitar <coughs> Hero on the transition. Rock Band was always a party game, right? And so I have a feeling that Guitar Hero Live, if it's going to succeed, is going to succeed with the people who, like, when it originally came out and Freddie Wong was super into it, right? People who want to play it to be challenged, to mm -hmm. do this, to play guitar. That's it. There's no bullshit in it. I, I turned it on. I was expecting when I sent you guys out, right? I, in my head, without getting anything from Activision, assumed it was going to be full band, the kind of funny team goes and plays all at once. And then when I clicked the video, I was like, they're just playing, oh, it's only guitar again, or so mm. it seems. You so far, I mean? at least. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, They were very, like, they made sure they didn't say it was just on, just guitar. We asked them, and they were like, well, for now, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. So. But I can't imagine them adding other instruments. No. Like Right, yeah, singing at the TV with people booing you and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. like that just doesn't make too much sense with the game that they've created because of how complicated the guitaring is. Right. And what you're saying is like Guitar Hero 1 through 3 were very focused on guitar songs, like songs with crazy solos and the the challenge levels and all this stuff. And it was it had this nice curve of you knew what you were getting if you played any song on easy, medium, hard, or difficult. Yeah. Like, the, the different button combinations, like if it was easy, it was just three. If it was medium, it was four. If it was um, above that, you're sliding and all yeah. that stuff. And it's like you knew that going into it, and every song was designed around at all moments in the song, you're doing something on the guitar. Yeah. And it's like even if the song has like a part that doesn't have a guitar, you're doing the synth part because it wouldn't be fun to not do that. You right. Know? But then once they switched to Rock Band, it was entirely a party experience. And like there was so many songs like Weezer, Say It Ain't So. How fun is that? On guitar, yeah, it's not, not. Not at all. But fuck you, it's a great it's so song. Boring. Yeah, but it's just like you're just doing, and even on expert, it's like this isn't fun. This is just the fun doing. came from playing with f your friends, exactly. and being an experience, and building this up whole your party star thing. power and all that stuff. So when I was or saying overdrive. earlier, earlier when I was like, already I'm seeing things, and I'm like, oh, why are you doing this? It's like as much as this new Guitar Hero Live is what I always thought I wanted to come back from Guitar Hero, it still is trying to be the party game, and here's a perfect game for parties, and it's just like. Can you not do that? Couldn't that be a lie, though? It seems like that could easily be a lie, a bullet point they're saying right now, knowing that watching people play it, they're going to be hooked on the guitar again. And the, the cra how crazy can you get with the six total buttons and one strong? Yeah, but I, I mean, just like that. a lot of... I was... Um, just just to put some some thought into that, I was like, I didn't really care for those games coming back. And then once that guitar was in my hand, I was like, oh, I do miss this. Like, I do want to play this again. And like, I don't know. I, I, do, I do see them kind of over flooding the market this year but and maybe it's just a personal thing like i did the whole rock band thing i don't want to buy a whole set again because i think i'm going to have a bunch of friends to play with all the time but that's not really how it goes <laughs> so i'm just going to buy guitar hero and then just do that 
that was the thing I took away from that video is that that reminded me a lot of Guitar Hero 2 when I bought Guitar Hero 2 when I was living in Micah's spare room and I just moved here and had a little CRT and just sat there and played all by myself and I was fine with that you know what I mean whereas Rock Band is a commitment Rock Band buying the new Rock Band needs to be that Colin and I have agreed that we are playing Rock Band in the living room at least twice a week or something with the girls or whatever like we're getting use out of it so it isn't like when I bought DJ Hero and literally played it one night and never touched it again you know Mm -hmm. yeah DJ Hero was kind of whack though the, it was a great idea. The song mashups are awesome. Oh, the yeah. uh, the thing I'm most fascinated about this these mu- music games coming back is I, I I personally am very excited about it. What we have to remember about with Rock Band and Guitar Hero is that the games were never bad. It was just that we were we were tired of them. So the formula still works, and I think that you know you, you Greg was I think a little bit more surprised than uh, of, the, of them coming back so soon, and that also that they would be available this year, um, and maybe thinking that, that more, more space need to be had but I, I don't agree I'm actually like kind of excited to play them both especially Rock Band the more interesting thing is that two publishers Activision and EA have stumbled upon the same thing in the same year to bring back these franchises which is not a coincidence I don't think because I don't think they knew what the other was doing I think that they were reading probably similar research market research maybe using the same firms to discuss internally whether these games could come back and if they could be commercially viable and then struck at the same time um i think it's good that they're both coming back at the same time because uh the cream will rise to the top um if one came back undisputed i actually think it would be kind of lame because uh, the narrative in 2008 2009 was both those games going up head to head um for a couple of years and which one was better and which one people preferred so I'm, I'm interested to see like how they how they they go against each other and mm-hmm. yeah. and how the market reacts. I think these games are going to do very well. And I think that the there's there's questions that need to be answered. Backwards compatibility is probably not going to be possible with the new Guitar Hero, but with, but with Rock, but with Rock yeah, Band, it, um, it should be. I hope, I hope it is. I think they said that it was. Someone, and it, it someone absolutely should be. Someone tweeted at us yesterday saying, like, oh, no, backwards compatibility is, is already a thing. I, I, I haven't heard that myself. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not I'm not up on it at all. But I'm busting I mean, out the phone. I'm going to look through the internet. But, like, that's going to be pretty important with Rock Band. And uh, I agree with you, games as a platform is kind of a smart idea, and not only with music games, but with lots of games we talked about with Call of Duty and Gran Turismo in the past. And it would be nice to do those kinds of things as well. Um, but a lot of people think that one is being reactionary to the other, and I think that's kind of a foolish thought because the licensing agreements that go into these games and all that kind of stuff take lots of time. Um, and lots of m- lawyer muscle and all that kind of stuff. So I just think it's a coincidence that they were both ready this year. And I, I'm, I'm sure that EA wishes Activision wasn't going and Activision wishes EA wasn't going. But as a consumer, we will all win because they will both have to be better because mm-hmm. there will be competition on the market. You know, going back to it, like looking <clears throat> back at, you know, 2007 through 10 when these games were coming out and being a thing, was there a clear winner? Because I know that a lot of people yeah. look like somebody. I think Rock Band is the clear winner. I know that. Uh, like Mike Drucker yesterday tweeted, and he said that uh, um, Harmonix is to Pixar as Activision is to DreamWorks. Yeah. And it's just like, I get that as an overall statement, but it's like, the Guitar Hero games, did they... They gave we- up the ground. Real quick, hold on. Before we jump, let me put a pin to finish. According to the Never Wrong Wikipedia... Harmonix also promised compatibility with the over 2,000 existing songs that were released as downloadable content for prior installments, along with the possibility of backwards compatibility with guitar and drum controllers designed for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 versions, although new PS4 and Xbox One-specific hardware is also in development. Yeah, the, the problem with the hardware is it's probably going to be easy for them to, to, to hard-code into the game, so it's going to be difficult for the consoles to deal with that hardware. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, So now back to this question. Here's the problem in why Rock Band has looked to be the winner of that fight last time around. X, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself in the analogy. Guitar Hero gave up the ground. They switched their model. They changed to be a full band thing when they saw how successful Rock Band was. If they would have said fuck it and stuck to being Guitar Hero and that's it, then maybe there's, you know, well, this is that and this, but it's very similar to like with the PlayStation 4 Xbox, right? Xbox is like, we're going to be always online. We're going to do all this stuff. Da, da, PlayStation 4, hey, what's up? We're not. We're, we're 100 bucks cheaper in this. And Xbox immediately had to go, oh, well, we take it all back. We understand you don't like that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And that immediately puts that mark on you, right? Mm-hmm. That you're like, you're reactionary and you're not in it to win it. You didn't have you didn't have a vision. It seems like Harmonix has always had a vision for Rock Band, right? Mm-hmm. You talk to those guys, those developers. Now, granted, you're talking about Harmonix versus Activision, right? Where Activision is very much, we're Activision. Harmonix is able, even though they're published by someone, to get out in front and be like, we're the people behind this. We love music. Here's this. We're putting our developer or our staff's bands into the game. Is then like, we're going to have DLC every week. And like, they like showed all this TLC to that franchise. You know what I mean? And it does become one of those interesting things with it where since Guitar Hero was first and Rock Band was second, I think 
we get into that echo chamber a bit where I think to us, to inside the industry, rock band was what it was all about. We all loved rock band. I can't remember the number of IGN rock band parties we had. And that wasn't limited just to IGN. That was every other thing. But mainstream, I remember when my friend, she hit me up. And she's like, hey, for my husband, he wants Guitar Hero, but should I buy him rock band? And I had to explain... Buy him what he wants. I know mainstream, I think Guitar Hero has more cachet than Rock Band, but Rock Band's the better game. Yeah. One of those kind of arguments, you know? It, it gets so interesting because, I mean, at the end of the day, Rock Band was Guitar Hero at one point. Like, one and two were made by, like, the lineage goes Guitar Hero 1, Guitar Hero 2, Rock Band, and that's where Harmonix went. And then Neversoft did Guitar Hero 3, and then I don't even know who the fuck made the rest of World it. World Tour. Uh, yeah, there was World Tour, The Legends of Warriors of yeah, Rock. Yeah. I don't even fucking know. Band Hero. God. Uh, there was <clears throat> Band Hero had Taylor Swift in it. Yeah, that's true. And then there was like a million of the like random like Aerosmith, and, right? Uh, oh, Beatles, yeah. the eighties. Green Day. Well, Beatles. Beatles, Beatles was rock, rock band. band. I apologize. You're so it's right. like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I I feel like Van Halen. We we kind of get mm. the industry gets stuck. At, oh, Rock Band's the winner. But I don't think it was that clear it in was. terms of you're wrong. But I mean, is, do you, you're wrong. you know the sales? Terms, uh, I don't know. I don't know the sales numbers, but I mean, in terms of quality, I think. I think one was clearly the winner. <clears throat> the bigger, the bigger thing with guitar. See, I don't know though, about that with quality though. Because I mean, quality, I, I they were both. In my like... mind, I do. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like I, I think, I think that the harmonics is the developer that pioneered that space. They went in a different direction and made it applicable to, tr- you know, to rhythm, in addition to <clears throat> treble. So, um, you know, so I think that that was a revolution that they patted down and did first, and I think that it, it worked out pretty nicely for them. I mean, it, I was not interested at all in Guitar Hero after Rock Band came out. And we played a lot of them. I mean, what a lot of people don't know or don't remember if they weren't long-time IGN readers, and, and Greg and I were, were there when it was happening, but even before us, is that oh, yeah. Guitar Hero largely succeeded because IGN like loved that game. and, and They, and, and, they and, yeah. beat the drum hardcore for the original Guitar it, it was Hero. Like, Talon is cave and everybody out there rocking. Yeah, a lot of people like don't know that, that Guitar Hero was somewhat under the radar until like it found evangelists in the media that really liked it. And talked a lot about it and wrote a lot about it and and so Guitar Hero did really well. Um, and uh, so that like I, I think that you have to follow like the, the the core lineage like you were talking about about who was making these games and I think that you know, rock band stole the thunder in my in my personal circles of friends. I mean that was the same thing. You yeah. Know? Because you also invested in these instruments and stuff like that. And so you have to go, you know, some of them are you know cross compatible, I guess, but ultimately like, you had a kind of go where you were spending your money as well mm. and these are such investments the bigger thing is that if there is if there is backwards compatibility with the new rock band and I, I'm not confident there will be because I don't think it's going to work um, is that you can go to your you know your local Goodwill or whatever and just pick that shit up for yeah. real cheap right now like the minute that's announced you know like you Goodwill better make, make a move making bank true. Off them three ninety nine dollars guitars I just remember rock band kind of just doing their thing and then I, I fell off into that boat because Guitar Hero was doing like Van Halen and like some other weird stuff, and I was like, these are. Th- I mean, like I Van respect. Halen's awesome. I was like, I respect. But I mean, yeah, it's stuff that our generation did. Like, stuff that our generation wouldn't really cling on to. It wasn't Taylor Swift. That's yeah. what Van yeah. you know did what I mean? it for us. So that's how I remember. I don't know. For me, I was like, yeah, Rock Band was the way to go. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. See, it's it's really interesting to me because I get all of that, and it makes sense because yeah, when you invest in Rock Band, you're just going to keep going that path. And it's like then when a year, I think it, it might have been two years later that Guitar Hero decided they're going to add their whole band and whatever it's like everyone's like well i'm not i already have this yep. and i already don't use it so i'm not <laughs> gonna get that so it kind of had a bad taste but when you played the games they were great games like if you're going to review the games i don't think that rock band was better than guitar hero even like when it was the full band setup or whatever and like the drum set was awesome with the i don't remember it was four or five it had more than the other one yeah like three toms or two toms two symbols and it was cool yeah. like it, it and three eleven guitar here but the the uh yeah, I think a lar- largely the performance on them were equal because I mean we used to play them all the time at IGN um, in the old demo room in the old office. But uh, I think a lot of it has to do with like the songs that you prefer to, and there, there was cross pollination, but not necessarily. So I mean, it's like about the yeah, it was, it's an expensive game. It's a fucking it is an investment. If you spent a hundred dollars on DLC on Rock Band, you're not going to suddenly go play Guitar Hero. So it did mm-hmm. kind of send you into a certain niche. Yeah. Now that I know Rock Band songs will work with, and I don't know how they licensed that out, but they, they figured it out. The rock band, old rock band songs will work with the new rock band. I mean, that's fucking huge. You know, yeah, like that, is, I mean, that's yeah. like, that's like, pretty much sold me on rock band already. So mm-hmm. Yeah, it fucks me over though because I want to play on PlayStation Four, but I play it on 360 last oh. gen. So now I have all I have this giant library of 360 music. Maybe I can somehow redeem that. Eric Pope, get on that. Figure out how to make that happen. That would be nice. I I don't think that's beyond the realm of possibility. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even think about that. I have hundreds of songs for Rock Band. I think it's pretty much going to push me there into that. So well, really I mean, cool. now it does not even question, though, like because Guitar Hero is different. Yeah. That's the other it's thing, too, is that Guitar Hero is not, yeah. is not what I, I mean, it looks cool. It's not what I want to play. Mm-hmm. I like, you know, I, I what I hope with Rock Band, like when they really flesh it out, and I've talked about this before, like I'm a musician and I like playing these instruments and I think it's fun. I think playing drums on these on these songs on Expert is largely indicative of the way you would really play a song with, on that, you know, obviously not a real kit. The thing that used to bum me out is bass because bass is really fun to play and I felt like it was kind of an afterthought. Um, like I play bass and I, and, and I think it's a really fun instrument. I'd like for them to make a different bass module, like a different instrument that like is a different guitar yeah like that has maybe a fewer fewer frets and something that you would pick instead of or like you could pick or you could like mm-hmm. you know or you can um uh you know just play just play it differently just yeah. make it different um as opposed to like oh who wants to play bass now and it was always like the thing yeah. no one wanted to play and i'm That's like the bass is, and i'm like the bass is fun like bass like there's fucking like oh i was listening to space hog in the meanwhile uh, you know that song in the meantime or in the meanwhile whatever that mid-90s song you have to give me a few bars. Uh, I can't even sing right now. I'll bring it up on. I know. So it's funny. Sometimes in your conversation here, you you talk like you're at a wake. It's, it's really it's really <laughs> awesome. Sorry, I can't. I, mean, I can't let me tell you. It's I, really sad. About I can't that. hear myself, <laughs> and my throat hurts. Uh, but there's like awesome bass lines, and I don't feel like they ex- explored the rhythm as much as they could have, considering uh, you know the implementation of bass because drums did it so nicely. Um, and, bass, and I like because it was it was just like it was a stepchild of the guitar, and so I could play bass on hard. Be like, yeah. yeah, I'm doing something. On it hard. was always just like who who wasn't good at it. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Wow, wow, wow. I was listening to the song. I was like, this would have been great. You know, this is like a great song and like mm-hmm. fucking awesome little walking bass line in there. So I, I I would just love for them to. Yeah, I always jumped on the bass because I'm like it's fun, but it didn't do anything to differentiate itself from guitar sure, because sure. everyone thinks guitar is such a fucking dominant instrument for whatever reason. So like, um, it would have been cool to to have that, and I hope that they do that. That was like one of the big problems with both of those games. Back My biggest back. problem was that the Rock Band guitar sucked ass. Yeah, I mean that you mentioned it when we got away from it was the equipment quality or whatever. Yeah, a thousand percent. I will give you the grant. I will totally tell you that. Yeah, Activision had it fucking down in a guitar. Those Rock Band guitars were garbage. They were fucking garbage, and like I don't know why they switched to the like it's like a flicker thing instead of like a. There used yeah, to be way more, would, way more the first like one didn't really click the whole it, it the first kind of yeah, it was all it was mush the, uh, the buttons were mush and this yeah this strum was mush you Not could use the shit. guitars on the other game though. right yeah mm-hmm. so that that, was, and that's what I that that's like, we're yeah, talking that, about yeah. how much we love the other one I forget which one it was I guess it must have been that first gen Rock Band one versus Guitar Hero three where I bought Guitar Hero three just for the guitar well yeah the Guitar Hero three the the um, Guns and Roses whatever one that was Guitar Hero three right yeah. What had the Guns N' Roses guitar? I don't. I remember it that being was the, black, the best guitar. It was the period. black guitar, and it was it was the first, the first wireless, wireless yeah, one. Yeah, 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 that was the fucking best. Well, the first wireless for all of them. There was a wireless one on a <coughs> Xbox. Right? Shut up. Three sixty for Guitar Hero two. No one likes mm-hmm. you. Yeah. Xbox. Pretty sure. Anyways, all right. I'm excited for fucking. All I mean, we can all agree the great. the most the best rock band was Rock Band th- DS. With your little accordion. <laughs> <and all laughs> guitar Hero, yes. That wasn't a rock band. I don't give a shit which one it was. I'm just making fun of your vast library. Well, I, <laughs> this no shit. Library. I fucking enjoyed the shit out of that Guitar Hero <laughs> DS game. It was great. You must it have been a cool kid. I was. Strumming. Strumming my Me shit. Me and Craig Harris were doing the same thing. Good. Worry. It was fun. What up, Craig really Harris? Fun. Rest in peace. Y'all ready? For this? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. <laughs>